Hello everyone. Now this is going to be the start of a series of videos related to drone incidents in the UK and how it's covered by the media. So this is an independent um, story from the independent in the UK and its headline is London woman dies in possibly the first drone related accidental death. Hmm. So, Scotland Yard said officers were investigating reports of a drone being flown near Wandsworth Prison when the crash occurred. I wonder whether they always put this sort of drone up. But anyway, a young woman died in a car crash Tuesday after her vehicle was followed by police investigating reports of a drone being flown near Wandsworth Prison in London. The incident may be the first fatality linked to a non-military use of drones. Scotland Yard said police were called to a road near the jail just after 3 a.m. Tuesday morning to investigate reports of a drone being flown near the prison grounds. In a statement, Scotland Yard said officers arrived at the car arrived and a car was seen to leave the scene. Officers followed the vehicle at and at 3.10 a.m. it was seen to have been involved in a collision in Ashcombe Street at the junction of Wandsworth Bridge Road. At this stage, it is believed no other vehicle was involved with the collision. The London Ambulance Service and London Fire Brigade attended. One occupant of the car, a woman in her 20s, was pronounced dead at the scene. Police say the driver of the car, a man thought to be in his 20s, is now in critical condition in a West London hospital. The accident comes a day after the Independent reported that police are having to investigate a fourfold rise in the number of reports of suspicious, suspicious activity involving shop-bought drones. Now, Okay, I'm just wondering how this becomes a drone related death. I mean, let, let's just go through it because there's, there's another point to be made here. It also follows incidents of drones being used to smuggle contraband, including so called legal high drugs into prison inmates, drugs to prison inmates. It is not yet known, however, why the drone was being flown and its presence near the prison may have been coincidental. No arrests have been made following the incident, which is now being investigated by the Independent Police Complaints Commission, the IPCC. Scotland Yard said in its statement, police are in the process of informing next of kin formal identification awaits. A post-mortem examination will be scheduled in due course. Um, I don't know what this has got to do with anything, but the Mets, uh, blah, blah, let's go down here. Although the incident may be the first fatality linked to non-military use of drones, the unmanned aerial vehicles, vehicles have previously been involved in accidents leading to serious injury. I just want to say that again. Although the incident may be the first fatality linked to non-military use of drones, the unmanned aerial vehicles have previously been involved in accidents leading to serious injury. Now, I just want to stick with this particular incident to start off with. I don't want to look at anything else. This incident. Now, as far as we know, these people didn't have the drone. These people were not flying the drone because I'm pretty sure they would have said it was either her or him and they know that they've got the drone in the vehicle they've got something related to drones in the vehicle as far as I can make out this is just purely coincidental this is purely speculation that they had anything to do with the drone but the way it's been put in is London woman dies in possibly the first drone related accidental death which makes it seem like it was them it makes it seem like that they are the people that were flying the drone over the prison even if there even even if there was one we don't know that yet but this is how they write it up this to me is just another one of those ways 
of trying to get it into the people's head. Drones used for bad things, and people do bad things with drones. Now this is going to be the first in a series of these um, that I'm going to do because I found I found you know enough to make up a series of videos, and this doesn't this uh, Pakistan targets drones and posters of child rest. Yeah, this is nothing to do with it. That's just an image they got there, but it's another sort of hateful thing about drones just to just to push it to you a little bit more. Uh, and these are talking about other things. Um, now. I'm going to go through some of those other things, but what I want to be able to say to you is this, is although this article suggests that this, I mean they're putting it right in your face there, this is a drone, yeah okay, and this had something to do with this death, all I can make out from this is that the car was being followed and it managed to get into a collision. Um, the officers following the vehicle at 3.10 a.m. Uh, it seemed to have been involved in a collision in Ashcombe Street at the junction of Wandsworth Bridge Road. So maybe the people were just trying to get home quick. Maybe they were just trying to get away from the police. Maybe there's something else, no tax insurance maybe. And that's what's cost this youngster her life and left somebody else in critical condition. But there's no mention of the drone or anything to, related to drones being found in that vehicle and that would suggest to me that it wasn't there that there was nothing there that would that would give that impression so how they've managed to come up with that is just a whole bunch of general BS that you get out of mainstream news in this country at this moment in time thanks for watching and I'll post up the next one very, very soon.